Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'm going to tell you about drawing unique binary trees from the tree traversal. So in my last videos, if you have watched, you will find that how from a binary tree we were writing the tree traversals, the pre-order traversal, the in-order traversal, and the post-order traversal, right? So today I'll tell you that how to draw a unique binary tree from the pre-order and the in-order traversal. Right, so it's a very interesting topic. So listen to me very carefully. Right now, what does the algorithm says? The algorithm says that you have to, like in a pre-order traversal, what happens is that we know that a pre-order traversal means that the what is the traversal method? We have the root first, then we have the left subtree and the right subtree. So always from the pre-order, you will come to know that who is the root vertex, right? Once the root vertex is clear, then you will go in the in-order traversal. So in order, we know that the tree traversal method is left, then root, and then right. So we will go to the in-order traversal, and then from the root vertex, we can judge that which vertices will be in the left subtree and which vertices will be in the right subtree. So we have to search both the traversal methods one by one. From pre-order, we will always search the root vertex and the in-order will tell us that which vertices will lie on the left of that root vertex and which vertices will lie on the right of that root vertex, right? So let me tell you some examples and you will understand the problem. So you have to draw a unique binary tree when the in-order and the pre-order traversals are given. So you can see that the pre-order traversal is given to us and the in-order traversal is given to us, right? So just let me write down again what is a pre-order traversal. So in a pre-order traversal, if you have gone through my videos, you will know that it is that we have to travel the root vertex first, then the left and then the right subtree. And in the in-order traversal, what happens? We travel the left vertex first, then we travel the root vertex and then we travel the right vertex, right? So if you uh, search your in-order traversal, it is very difficult to know that which one is the root vertex because the root vertex lies in the center. Now, where is the center? Q is the center, C is the center, B is the center. Which one is the center? So, we don't know, right? But if you check the in-order traversal, the in-order traversal starts with the root vertex. That means the very first vertex in pre-order is your root vertex, right? So, that means R is our root vertex. So, let's search for the root vertex in in-order. So this R is placed over here. So it tells us that this binary tree has the root R, right? Now, according to the in-order traversal, whichever vertices are lying on the left, they are the vertices of the left subtree. And whichever vertices are lying on the right of it, they are the vertices of the right subtree, right? Because we have left, then root, and then the right vertex. That means... For this binary tree, which vertices will lie on the left? We have these vertices which will lie on the left. That is, we have A, we have Q, we have C, and we have B. We list them out, right? Similarly, on the right side, we have these vertices. That is, C, then E, then D, and then F, right? So the first step, I think, is clear. So from the pre-order, we are going to see which one is the root vertex. Then in the in-order, we'll search for that root. And whichever vertices are on the left, they are the part of the left subtree. And whichever vertices are on the right, they are the part of the right subtree. Right? Now, what is the next step? Now, we have to see that from the first problem, we move on to the next sub-problem. That which one is the next root? Out of A, Q, C and B, which is the next root. So what are you going to do? Go to the pre-order traversal and see out of these vertices, which vertex is appearing first in the sequence. So you can see that after R, we have out of these vertices, Q is appearing first. So whichever vertex is appearing first in the list, that becomes my next root, right? So, out of A, Q, C, and B, Q becomes my next root, right? Now, if Q is the next root, let us see root. So, 
so on the left is the left subtree and on the right we have the right subtree so that means towards the left of q we have the vertex a so only vertex a is left and on the right of q we have the vertices c and b right next step now we are left with two elements now we have to again see that which one is the next root so again go back to the pre order and in the list scan from left to right and see out of this two vertices which one is appearing first so you can see that b is appearing first right so that means b is your next root right if b is the next root go back to the in order and see that which vertex is to lying towards the left or towards the right so only c vertex is left and you can see that vertex c is appearing on the left side right so that means there will be vertex c on the left and there is nothing on the right side right now the next step now let's so we are done with the left subtree right now let's come to the right subtree again the same thing p e d f so out of p e d f we have to search that which one is the first vertex in the sequence in the pre order so in the pre order if you go from left to right out of these vertices you can see that p is appearing first right that means my next vertex in this the next root in fact will be vertex p now if p is the root we go back to p here and we will see that all the vertices are lying towards the right side there is nothing on the left that means there is no branch on the left on the right we have e we have d and we have right now out of e d f again which one is the next root so again we check the sequence here and we see that e is the next root sorry d is the next root right d is appearing first right d is the next root so d is the next root if d is the next root we come back to the in order and in the in order we can see that on the left we have vertex e and on the right we have vertex f so we draw e on the left and we draw f on the so this is how we get the unique binary tree from the pre ordered and the end right so i hope you understood so let me explain you one more example so that becomes very clear so let's move on to the second exercise so you have to draw the unique binary tree when the in order and the pre order traverses are given so you should be very clear that what is the root preferred in pre order and in order so in pre order we have root then the left subtree and then the right subtree and in the in order we have left first then the root vertex and then the right subtree right so first of all we will go in the pre order and see which one is my root vertex so you can see that one is the root vertex right so we come back to the in order and we search for one so one is here so one is the root so this is on the left and the rest all the vertices are on the right so let's start from one so we draw one here and there is only two vertex on the left and on the right hand side we have a list of vertices that is four Three, six, five, ten, eight, eleven, seven, and nine. Right. So now our next job is that which is my next root. So we have to go in the pre-order and we have to check in the list out of all these elements which element is appearing first. So one and two are already done. So we can see that three is coming in the list. Right. so that means my next vertex is vertex number 3 so i come back to in order 3 is here so i can see that towards the left of 3 we have the number 4 so 4 is in the left subtree and on the right subtree we have the rest of the numbers right so you can see that the rest of the numbers 6 5 10 8 11 7 5 and 9 are towards the right side now again we go back to the pre order and we check out of all these vertices which is appearing first and you can see that 5 is appearing first right so 5 is my next root we come back to 5 in the in order this is 5 and we can see that 6 lies towards the left right 
So if 6 is on the left, the rest of all the vertices are on the right. So we have 10, we have 8, we have 11, we have 7 and we have 9. Right? So again, we check the reorder and out of these numbers, we see which one is appearing first. So you can see in the list that 7 is appearing first. Right? So 7 becomes my next root. So let's locate 7 over here. So if 7 is the next root, so we can see that 10, 8, 11 are all toward, lying towards the left. So we write down here 10, 8 and 11. And on the right hand side we have vertex 9. So now we have to see what are all here, which is the next root. So out of 10, 8 and 11, which number is appearing first in the sequence? You can see 8 is appearing first. So 8 becomes our next root and we come back to 8 here in, in order and we can see that 10 lies towards the left and 11 lies towards the right. So 10 comes on the left side and 11 comes on the right. So this becomes your binary, right? So I hope you understood the topic. So I've given you two exercises to complete. So just try this exercise and do uh, paste the screenshot of your binary tree in the comment section. And similarly, try this problem also, right? And do let me know how, if you have understood the topic or not, right? So thank you so much for listening. To all those who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, do hit the like button and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.